Hi guys, the topic of discussion today is why the Pharisees could not enter heaven. The main reason why the Pharisees could not enter heaven is because they thought they already had heaven. They thought because they had the law of Moses, the old covenant, the scriptures and the temple. They thought that God was on their side. They thought that everything was okay and that when they die, they would enter into heaven. They refused to believe Jesus when he told them that the kingdom of heaven was within them. They refused to do any work in order to attain the kingdom of heaven since they thought they already had it. They did not have any work to do. When Jesus said that the kingdom of heaven was within them, what he was trying to say was that the earth and heaven are at two different levels of frequency or vibration. Human beings on this earth naturally operate at a level of vibration similar to animals. Human beings normally act on instinct. Their level of vibration or level of spirituality is very low. They live after the flesh, they live after the loss of the eyes, they drink, they smoke, they envy, they are jealous of others, they curse, they want to be superior to others, they want to commit orgies, they want to have sex with other people's wives and husbands, they are greedy for money and resources and houses. They are not humble, they are not kind, they are not compassionate. They live at a state of being that is far below that of what is required to enter into heaven. The level of spirituality of human beings is very low and thus when they die their level of spirituality or the level of frequency or vibration is not that of heaven and thus they cannot enter into heaven. So that is what Jesus was telling the Pharisees. The Pharisees were people who had money, they had status, they had the esteem of men. They did not, their level of spirituality was very low and much less than what is required to enter into heaven. Their level of vibration was not that of heaven. They were very proud and arrogant and narcissistic. They thought they were better than others and they thought Jesus was coming to take their status and popularity and money away from them because they saw the people or the masses siding with Jesus. So they had Jesus killed in order to maintain their level of money and status and respect of men. These people definitely does, did not have the frequency of heaven. And their level of spirituality was not equal to the level of spirituality needed to enter into heaven. That is why Jesus told them the kingdom of heaven is within. In order to obtain this kingdom of heaven within a person, a person has to give up the things of this world. He has to give up the pleasures of the flesh. He has to stop desiring or chasing after money and status and sex and the esteem of men and things of this world. If a person goes within himself and he gives up the things of this world and the pleasures of the flesh and he chooses to live after Christ and he, he will become one with Christ and God, he will obtain the level of spirituality or the level of frequency that is equal to that of heaven and thus his state of being will be that of heaven and he will obtain dreams and visions and revelations from Christ and God and his peace and joy will be eternal and everlasting and no person on his planet and no difficult circumstance could ever take that away from him. Many people in this world are similar to that of the Pharisees. They are unwilling to do the work necessary to raise their level of spirituality or their frequency to that of heaven. And such when they die, they will die like the Pharisees. They will die 
and they will not go to heaven all their money and status and women and men and sex and drugs and alcohol will not be able to save them this is why the pharisees did not enter into heaven they refused to give up the things of this world they refused to raise their level of spirituality or vibration to that of heaven when jesus was on this planet he chased after the things of god he gave up the things of this world to chase after god and thus he raised his level of spirituality to that spirituality to that of heaven and this is why jesus was able to connect with the father and he was able to have the holy spirit inside of him and to do so many great works and this is why when jesus died he was able to ascend to heaven this is why jesus told the rich man to give up all that he had to come and to come follow jesus because whatever the rich man had all the money and resources was keeping this rich man attached to the vibration or frequency of this planet it was keeping the rich man at an animal level of being the rich man was living like an animal he was only living after his instincts and the loss of the flesh and the things of this world so men, so many people today think that if they follow christ they will be given up so much pleasure so much joy but that is not true because the things of this world cannot satisfy a person many people go into drugs and alcohol and parties and they do more and more drugs every day and they do more potent drugs and they have more and more sex and they engage in more and more sexual fantasies and they can never be fulfilled their body becomes tolerant to the drugs that they are taking there before they have to take more drugs the sex that they are having the body becomes tolerant they have to have sex with different women and they have to have more and more perverse sexual fetishes in order to achieve the same level of pleasure that they initially had when they started doing drugs and sex so therefore the things and the pleasures of this world the money the status the validation of an approval of men and women the orgies they cannot fulfill a person the pleasures are very temporal and they're very shallow and they don't last and therefore the joy and peace that jesus wants to give to people it is that is that is everlasting and it is eternal and no matter what a person goes through on this planet he will be able to pass with flying colors and to walk with his head held high because that joy and peace and strength from Christ is everlasting and as i said that person will become one with the father and Christ and Christ and the father will guide that person and lead that person and that person would not have to become a cut short person he would not have to become a crab in a barrel he would be able to live his life and god will show him his purpose and his destiny and god will provide all his needs until the end when that person dies and he will have obtained the level of frequency of heaven and he would be able to ascend and go to be with jesus so i hope you understand what i have said today if you all did not understand feel free to message me or leave comments and i hope you all have a great day take care